Hello and welcome to the Papare.com's roundup of this week's school rugby action in the Singer Schools League. It's been a fabulous weekend once again. We are seeing so many competitive games in uh, these weekends of rugby. Not just one game, but so many. And uh, that's what's been a feature of this weekend as well. Let's start off with the Isipatana versus um, uh, St. Peter's uh, Sabir. And that one, it was 20 points to 18 in favour of uh, Isipatana. And they remain unbeaten and they they hold their title favourites uh, tag intact, so, so to speak. But the issue is that Isipatana scored 20 points, 4 tries, so they've outscored uh, St. Peter's by 4 tries to 2, but what happened was they still only managed to win the game by 2 points. They could easily have lost it if a couple of uh, passes went to hand for St. Peter's. It was something that uh, Isipatana really need to concentrate on when it comes to the close games against Trinity. Um, when it comes to the close, uh, close games like Kingswood, maybe even Royal, then that's where those kicks are going to come into play. And don't forget, we've been saying this from the from day one of uh, the season. So don't lose a match, uh, the Greens, by three points and uh, look back and uh, think that things could have ended up uh, differently. Uh, superb uh, performance once again by uh, Kevin Dixon, who leads the line from, uh, from the back, in fact, for St. Peter's. He was outstanding. He was running hard. He was making good territorial kicks. And that's where it really made a difference because St. Peter's, attacked Isipatana territory really, something which no team had done uh, so far. Absolutely, Shanaka. Like we said, uh, especially Kungawatta, first of all, taking all the kicks, but uh, he failed all the first five kicks, which is terrible. So uh, in that case, uh, they miss uh, four, three penalties and four conversion which is in a tally of 17 points. Coming back to Kevin Dixon's part, yes, he did, did make the difference, but it was like not really game plan because strategic-wise, St. Peter's didn't have a clue in the first half because Dixon don't know whether to play as a first receiver or as a fullback or coming as a centre. So in the second half, much, much better strategic plan by uh, Coach uh, Coach uh, Ben McDougall. So uh, that's something uh, really good in the point of view. Also, Sandesh putting some good kicks. So that made a huge difference uh, in the second half for St. Peter's. Yeah, absolutely agree. The second half performance, it was 15-6 at halftime and St. Peter's came back really strongly in the second half. Ben McDougall putting Kevin Dixon on the outside, having him attack that 12-13 and 13-14 channels, put the kick in, turn Punchiheva around, put some pressure on Konga Havata on full at fullback or Rehan Silva, whoever was playing fullback, and let the ball bounce into touch in the in the corners. That's what uh, almost won them the game against Isipatana. But once again, Omarka Gunaratna's side showing that they had the resolution uh, to make sure that uh, they don't won't concede in the last few minutes of the game. Another massively close one on the same day or, or the next day, um, uh, Sabir, and that was uh, San Joseph's taking on Kingswood. Kingswood travelling down to Colombo once again uh, for a game and it was expected to be a really close one. It was 12-10 at halftime to Kingswood and they would have thought they were coming away with one of those elusive victories uh, this season. But unfortunately for them, San Joseph's coming back again strongly in the second half, showing that their conditioning is just a little bit better uh, than some of the other teams uh, that they have been uh, that they have been playing playing and uh, Shamika Kurumbalapitiya putting over uh, four penalties and one conversion, scoring 14 out of those uh, 24 points for St. Joseph's, but still in open play, he needs to improve his game. He needs to be that attacking spark like we saw against Isipatana. He scored a brilliant try. We need to see a little bit more of that from uh, Shamilka because Tariq Sali and Bope Arachi, the other two senior players in the team, are really playing well in the forwards, and Shamilka from the back needs to add up uh, in attacking play, in open play, with the ball in hand as he is uh, with the boots. So his kicking has improved, and the Decision-making for Kingswood uh, was not great and, and, uh, and coach Bilal Yusuf was very unhappy with his team's performance despite the fact that they won the game and he said it was their worst performance of the season. They allowed guys like Rafai Dean to run through them in uh, in defence and that was one problem I think that uh, Joe's had. They've had quite a few high-intensity games in the first half of the season already, uh, Sabir, so maybe they're going to drop off a notch in the next uh, coming games and then uh, bring it back for round two. Absolutely, Shanaka. And just to remind the halftime score, Kingswood were leading 12 points to 10. And uh, after the match, I spoke to Kasturi Arachi, Ananda Kasturi, the coach. He was saying the bad decision making on the field cost their game. And also, uh, talking about Shamil Kakurumbalapiti, he had made four, con four penalties rather and one conversion. It's a tally of 14 points. And uh, moving back to the next game, Royal beat St. Thomas 52 uh, 0. Shanaka will tell more about it. 
Well, I wish I didn't have to. Uh, there's not really much to talk about the Thomian performance. Only two players actually stood out from that St. Thomas's College team and looked like they wanted to take the game uh, to Royal. One was Sachit Jayatilaka at the number eight uh, position and the other was Ishak Jurangpati in the outside centre position. Jurangpati crossing over from Wesley. Again, he's not a homegrown uh, Thomian, so there's a lot of, uh, lot of a lack of depth in the Thomian rugby system. They don't have a lot of players that they can bring through the ranks and put in in crunch games like this. But that being said, Royal were absolutely outstanding. Standing, um, uh, Sabir, I thought this was one of the best performances I've seen from Royal since maybe 2009, when they had that really good uh, unbeaten side. So 52 points to nil it was not easy because the Tomian forwards are big and they did defend fairly well in uh, at the fringes. But still, Royal having marauding players all across the park. We saw Pires with the ball in hand; he was outstanding. As well, Lahir making some great tackles. Supun Vannakulasuriya once again with uh, a hat trick of uh, tries. Then we had Banduga Gamage also uh, with three tries. And Ovin Aski converting from some really tough angles. So that's something that's going to hold them an advantage when they go into games against Trinity, against um, uh, against Isipatana, because they know that they can trust Ovin Aski to give them points in the half if they if they make them. So all in all, I thought it was a complete team performance uh, from uh, Royal College. Absolutely. Uh, Husky uh, making uh, six conversions out of eight, which is quite good. Uh, and also talking about Supun Varnakul Siluria, he was wearing number two jersey, which was his uh, hooker position last year, and he was playing as a number eight this time around. So that makes us to different. Uh, we make mistakes in the articles and sometimes the, in the papers also. It goes as a different try scorer when he scores a try because of his number two. So we are just referring to the team card uh, because we had calls from Supun's parents also to make the corrections. So thank you for the calling. Uh, but uh, we appreciate if the master in charge give you the correct name on the team sh uh, team card so we can make it uh, proper a hundred percent perfect on that actually if i could add to that i was on commentary on that game and that the uh, the team sheet the column that says jersey number was completely empty so we didn't have anything and moving back to st anthony's uh, college uh, they just uh, beat dharmaraja they secured their first win 30 points to 17 in fact i thought dharmaraja could have come edge past st anthony's because the way they played against trinity and the way they played against uh, st thomas's because they scored more than four tries so but it was a good win for the st anthony's boys under the rainy cloudy uh, condition at Bogam Nittavala rather. So uh, that's their first uh, ever win in this season, Shanaga. Yeah, I'm actually, I was quite surprised because I expected that to be a very close game. I didn't expect St. Anthony's to win it as easily as they did. I thought they were definitely in with a chance when they went into the game, but Rajans have been a good attacking unit uh, this season. The rain came down and probably hampered uh, their running rugby also, but congratulations to St. Anthony's for getting their first win on uh, the board, and that's something you desperately need, and maybe their season will start turning around from here because they've got some good players in their ranks, uh, Sabi. They just don't seem to be able to put together uh, the performance on the park and another team that won their first match for the season Wesley and they did it in emphatic style as well 61 nil against CWW Kannangara I expected them to win but did you expect such a big score uh, not really maybe by 20 plus uh, this uh, that's what I mentioned in my uh, preview uh, but uh, that's quite good uh Morale boosting because we were mentioning in the analysis last week around if Wesley can go 50 pass, it's good to be a mental boost for Henry's boys. So it was a good win, and also uh, in the top try scorer, Chamil, uh, Chamil, Chamil Kakusal, who scored five tries and three conversion, and overall a score of 31 points as the leading point scorer in the week four. Congratulations to him. We didn't expect a Wesley player to come out and be uh, the top uh, point scorer for any of the weeks, but well done uh, to Wesley for an outstanding performance with a very, uh, very young team. Uh, commiserations again to CWW Kandangara because they've lost quite a few of uh, their players from uh, last year. And despite the fact that they're playing in this big division, they deserve to be here. But the problem is sometimes a team that gets you there is not the team that keeps you there. So that's one issue that uh, all the teams have to contend with and make sure they have their feeders systems that depth uh, going with CWW Karnangara clearly doesn't have at the moment. And then a really close game at Mount Lavinia, Trinity College versus uh, Science College, 22 points to 17. So just one score uh, between these two sides, Trinity and uh, Science. And Science have been an outstanding team so far. They've had the big scalp of uh, St. Thomas's in their first match of the season. They almost had the scalp of um, of uh, Trinity College as well. And uh, talk us through that game, uh, Sabi, where did things go wrong for Trinity or where did things go wrong for Science? I went to win uh, uh, after 20 minutes of play Shanaka. The score was 12 all. I was like, 
Oh, we, we, are we expecting a draw? That's what I said uh, in the preview also. Uh, but uh, what went wrong for Science is uh, their decision making in the second half. They went to the halftime 19-12 and then uh, they came in the second half. Uh, Trinity player, one of the player centers got a yellow card. So they are playing 15 against 14. But Science had two penalties. One is under the post, kickable 15 meters. And one is around 25 meters with an easy kickable. So they, they lost by six points. So if they could have put uh, those two two penalties they could have eased past 23 to 22 but instead their decision making they were trying to run tap and run and they lost the ball and also they lost five line outs in the second half in the 20 meter, uh, 22 meter red zone if they have collected they could have gone with the uh, powerful driving ball lasin dishan controlling nicely but they lost the momentum in the second half uh, and after after the match i spoke to the coach uh, he's not happy with the referee's decision but all the coaches sometimes when they lose that comes uh, on but uh, since they had the game in their hand but unfortunately the blame to their players uh, and the decision making probably the skipper has to take the uh, count on that well, I think the issue there, Sabir, is a lack of maturity. In When you've got a one-man advantage or a two-man advantage or how many advantage you have, you've got to get points on the board. You've got to demoralize the other team. And it doesn't matter whether you score those points through tries or it doesn't matter whether you score those points through penalties. You've got to make sure you get the points on the board in that 10-minute uh, cushion, which is clearly from what Sabir says, not what Science uh, College did. So Karunathilaka, I thought Lassandu Karunathilaka was an outstanding player. But one thing is sometimes when you see a big scalp, a big scalp like Trinity College waiting for you, oh my god, we can win this. Suddenly your decision making, you don't do what you've already always been doing. So that's something that uh, perhaps uh, science need to look at for uh, future games. So it's a shame that they couldn't manage uh, to, to do the number on uh, Trinity College, but Trinity will be very happy that they managed, despite having yellow cards, Sachin Tadisanaik, uh, Sinbin for uh, 10 minutes, and despite having a tough time in that game, they managed to come through and win. So that will give them perhaps not uh, the morale boost they need in, ahead of the Bradby, but it will give them something to work on in these two weeks training so i'm sure eric miller uh, will be working really hard on the boys and perhaps that wake up call was exactly what they needed uh, before the um, uh, before the Bradbury because you look at Royal they had a 52 nil win perhaps they're going to relax a little bit perhaps they're going to think oh we can win this one easy and Trinity are going to be working harder and the form goes out of the window in Bradbury Shield games then that's the one we're expecting in the upcoming week after the Wesak weekend Yes, uh, moving on to the points table, Shanaka, Isipatana tops the uh, division segment uh, 1A with uh, 4 out of 4 wins and uh, their total points is uh, 22 with uh, 2 bonus points, followed by St. Joseph's, Kingswood and St. Peter's and uh, Kanangar and Wesley uh, ranks 5th uh, fifth fifth and 6th position uh, where they might go to the uh, plate once again, Shanaka. Yeah, I think the big battle was this weekend uh, in this group, uh, Sabir. That was the one between St. Joseph's and Kingswood for second and third in that group. And St. Joseph's have won that battle. Uh, so Isipatana remain unbeaten in Division 1A and uh, they have uh, won all four of their games. St. Joseph's with only one loss uh, to Isipatana, a close loss at that. And Kingswood losing uh, to St. Joseph's as well. So they've won only two games out of their four and lost two. St. Peter's also winning two and losing two. They almost did a real upset against Isipatana this weekend. Uh, but Wesley and uh, CW W Karnangara winning, um, uh, not looking like they're going to go through to the next uh, division. Then we have in Division 1B, Trinity College, who are still uh, top of the uh, tree there. Royal College also unbeaten in that group. So you've got four four teams, uh, sorry, for two teams who have played four games and uh, won four games. That's Trinity and Royal, and that will all end next week when these two teams play each other. Then we have Science College, who deservedly win, uh, bring up uh, third place there. Fourth place goes to St. Anthony's by virtue of their win against Dhammaraj. And St. Thomas's, as a result of that massive loss, dropped down uh, to fifth position. So it looks like uh, St. Thomas's may not even make it uh, to the next round if their match against St. Anthony's doesn't go their way. So that's going to be a real crunch game uh, for them. Dalmaraja win, uh, bringing up uh, the rear there. So uh, looking forward at uh, next week's game, Sabir? Uh, yes, Shanag. We have a week off uh, so for the uh, Wesak holidays and we'll start the week five or the penalty mid week in the first round on 9th uh, of uh, 8th of uh, May rather 8th, 9th and 10th that's weekend uh, coming back to the uh, top try scorer uh, uh, list uh, Omalka Gunaratna still leads with uh, 9 tries played 4 and scored 9 tries followed by Supun Varnakulosuria Chamika Kusal and Saranga Gunatilika 8 each and uh, Riza Rafaidin correction Riza Rafaidin and Saranga Gunatilika 6 each and uh, top point scorer at the end of week 4 is uh, 
Once again, Saranga Gunatilaka with 62 points, followed by Riza Rafaid in 50 points. Chamika Kusal with five tries against Kanangara moving forward with 48 points. And uh, Omalka Gunaratna with for his tries and Shamilka Kurumbalapitiya 45 each. That's the try scorer and the point scorer list. And it's interesting to see at the top of the list, uh, two number eights, uh, Sabir, that's Omalka and Supun Vandakul Surya, both scoring bucket loads of tries, nine tries, eight tries, or so 17 tries uh, between the two of these guys. And uh, then you have the backs in um, Kusal, Saranga, Gunatilaka, and Riza Rafaidin also who are scoring uh, tries. So good to see the forwards up there. It means that the forward play in schools rugby has improved, and it means that defensive structures has improved too, because uh, Vandakul Surya is scoring some of his tries off first phase. So that's good to see see that uh a lot of those, uh, a lot of those tries are coming from good structured play, and Omalka, of course, just unstoppable in in loose play. Wherever he may pick the ball up from, he takes a lot of bringing down. So it's great to see him continuing in uh, that win. So uh, the Bradby is going to be uh, the big match of uh, week five in in the. Um in the Singer Schools League. And then we have some other interesting games with Kingswood taking on Isipatana as well at Bogambara. And that's probably the first real test away from home uh, for Isipatana. So they've been playing in Colombo in these um, last few games that we've seen. And it'll be interesting to see how they travel. Kingswood is not a team that can be taken lightly, not even by uh, Isipatana. And looking at Rifaidin, who is the best kicker probably in the tournament so far, coming up against a team that has absolutely no kickers, you don't know where uh, that one might end up. St. Peter's should be easy against CWW Kanangara. Wesley should uh, uh, trouble St. Joseph's a little bit, but not probably be able to win that. And then, of course, you have Trinity Royal, which we'll preview uh, next week. Probably Dharmaraja versus Science should be an interesting match there as well. And St. Anthony's versus St. Thomas's. That's going to be a real crunch game to decide who goes through to the second round. So that's all with the roundup of week four. So we'll uh, see you next time in week five. Uh, until then, I'm signing off. Sabir Kada sharing the passion along with. Shanaka, www.thepapare.com.